and welcome back to another episode of the Ultimate Relationship Show. I'm your host, Midori Verity, Relationship Coach, and today is a beauty day. We're going to be talking about how to get our skin looking gorgeous again, how to reverse the signs of aging, because we have a special guest with us, Aliyah Hosh, who owns a spa company, a company that helps us look our best. And I'm so excited about what she does and about her cool, cool, kind of innovative products. And so she's going to be talking about that. But let me give you a little background on Aaliyah. She owns a company called Soul Amenities and Spa Splurge. Doesn't that sound good? And she's a strong believer that you should absolutely do what you love. Totally agree. She's infused her work with her passion and created a line of luxurious hotel spa amenities for some of the most prestigious hotels and resorts in the world. She's ethically sourced high quality and luxurious collections with environmentally friendly packaging for resorts to give to their guests. She's done breast masks and all kinds of cool stuff. So let's get started. Welcome, Aaliyah. Hi, welcome. Thank you so much, Midori. I am so thrilled to be here. Yes, and I got to tell you, we've tried out some of your products. And they <laughs> were so fun. I made my friends do them. We had a <laughs> lip one um, that they had to test out, and that was fun. They looked totally different, and I, I probably will put them on my website. So if you guys want to see before, during, after, you can check it out. Um, and then I have a friend who's going to be doing your breast mask, but really excited about, about what you do. In fact, let me show you guys a little picture of what she has. Can you guys see this? This, is, this goes on your eyes. I'm going to try this. I'm going to some parties this weekend, and I want to look good. So I'll try it, and I'll let, I'll let all my people know about this later. In the, the, I'll do the before the middle and then the after pictures, too. How about that? I love it. That sounds great. I'd love to see that and hear from your friends and your, um, your listeners. Okay, cool. So let's talk about you. Tell us a little bit, just a quick background about why you got into this industry. Okay, wonderful. Yeah, so I have been in um, skincare and hospitality for a number of years and really saw a void in one quality amenities for hotels, the little mini shampoos, conditioner, body wash that we all kind of take for granted in the hotels. Um, They didn't really fit a theme of the property. So I would be traveling for business and I would find that I'm in this beautiful oceanfront resort and I've got an olive flavored amenity, for example. So I thought, you know, there was a void there. And then also as a busy mom, um, you know, finding time to just get a manicure and a pedicure was such a challenge for me. And I really wanted to create a new innovative product that was um, results driven but could give moms time to relax at home or women in general times uh, time to relax at home to just enjoy and um, get little mini spa treatments cool so when you're in a hotel room you can pamper yourself rather than the yes, little exactly conditioners that dry out your hair and make you look terrible yep we leave and feel refreshed and good exactly we actually put keratin in our um, conditioner and our shampoo so it does make your hair feel uh hydrated and and um really soft Ooh, nice okay i haven't tried those yet but i'm gonna try those (laughs) okay so let's talk a little bit about your success i how long have you been doing this so Soul Amenities has been around for about two years, um, and then Spa Splurge just launched in July of last year. So we are super excited about it. We've had a lot of success, um, a lot of um, print media, uh, radio, TV uh, media that has come along with this, and um, we're seeing uh, accounts growing, and um, we're seeing a lot of retail sales. So it's been really phenomenal the last six months. Very cool. Okay, but I've owned a business for over 25 years, and I know that it's not easy. And I also know that you have kids. So yeah. <laughs> kids are great, but boy, they get, yeah. Trying to balance it all can make us a little crazy. And we need those spa treatments because of that. Yes, we do. Let's, let's talk a little bit about some of the challenges that happen. Let's first talk about just challenges in business and how mm-hmm. to keep going when you're getting hit from left, right, center, and how you kind of overcome those. So tell us about a few of your challenges and what you did to get through them. Okay. Um, well, the first one would, I think would be, um, you know, have a 
good game plan and a good um, team going into your business, but also know that if it doesn't pan out the exact way you've planned it, it's okay. You can regroup, you can replan. You know, having a business plan or a marketing plan is phenomenal as far as metrics to measure your business and to measure your success at certain points and see challenges and opportunities as far as operationally or uh, maybe with some of your partnerships. Um, and of course, as a new business, that is what we measure measure um, most, I think, in the first startup phases is you're measuring uh, the relationships that you have. Are they profitable? Are they value added for both parties? Um, and, you know, that's really important. But, you know, the other thing is, is you know, you can't take it so seriously. And, um, you know, if you do find yourself at a point where you just didn't envision that you would be at this point at this time and, you um, and you maybe thought that you had reached a, a, a higher goal at a certain point. You can't let that get you down. You have to regroup, stay positive, and stay focused. And also, you know, you can't do it by yourself. You know, we are a women-owned company. Uh, we're family-operated. But I have phenomenal women uh, that work behind me every day, as well as a really strong, um, handsome husband that also pushes me to success and keeps me going every day. So, you know, you can't do it by yourself. <laughs> No, you absolutely cannot do it by yourself. So that's great. And I know for me, having my husband on my side, and the team difference because there are times where you get knocked in the knees and you just feel like just giving up and having that support system is so important. Mm -hmm. Let me just bring this back to my couples. Regardless of whether it's a business, regardless of whether it's your career, regardless of whether it's about your kids, being a support, having that strong support system there's nothing more valuable than having a spouse or a partner that is right beside you to pick you up when you're down because it's going to happen. Yes, so, it, it definitely will. And you know, that person, your spouse or your partner knows you the best and they know what to say to make you feel good about yourself again and really lift you up and encourage you. It's all mental, isn't it? It is. It's, it's totally all is. mental. Yeah, it's amazing. Okay, so let's go on now. So I also know that you have a child or a couple children. Is that right? Oh, yes. I have two little boys. I have my oldest is uh, three years old and my youngest, my second son is 13 months. So uh, oh. We, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's two little boys. They run me ragged. I will tell you. <laughs> oh, I have two boys, but they're on the opposite end, 17 and 20. And oh, wow. Yep. I was right in but your shoes. Still shoe. close together. So you were right in my shoes. Totally. And it's awesome. It gets, it gets <laughs> a lot easier and it's, it's so incredible as they get older, but when they're that young and they need your attention, which there's no getting around it. They need you at that time. And they, require a lot of attention. It yeah. is tough to run everything. So how do you do it? What are, what are some of your, your secrets? <laughs> well, um, kind of a funny story, um, uh, that actually happened this morning. Um, Last night, I, I've been so excited to go on your show um, since we scheduled this uh, in the last couple of weeks. And last night, um, my husband also travels for our business as well. So he's traveling this week. I'm home alone, um, playing single mom with the uh, two kids. So last night, I'm like, you know, so excited and I want to get a good night's sleep and rest and be ready to go and get my thoughts together. And of course, that does not happen. So um, I was up, I actually posted on Facebook this morning at about 6.15 that I was up five times during the middle of the night. I think I got a total of about two hours of sleep. And I found this amazing post from a girlfriend of mine that I had to share and repost uh, that goes along with this. But that's, you know, when my toddlers are teenagers, I'm going to wake them up at 4.45 in the morning <laughs> just to let them know that my my sock fell off. So I think that that is a perfect, you know, antidote um, for, you know, you have to have a sense of humor as a entrepreneurial woman, as a busy mom, as someone that is, you know, raising babies and businesses. So, I mean, yeah. by the way, I think it would be a great topic for a show for us to do together, raising businesses and babies. But yes. uh, yeah, it's, it's one of those things, you know, you have to keep a sense of humor and you have to just, you know, keep moving forward and again, make that game plan, but it might not always work out the way you want it to. And it won't always, it will <laughs> rarely work out the way that you want it to. And I, I, 
I so applaud you for what you just said, <laughs> because when my kids were little and I, and I was doing exactly the same, it's interesting to hear you talk about this. <laughs> I was growing my business and I had the two little guys and there were days where I was just, I, I was coming out of my skin. I didn't know what to do. I was stressed out. And that's my advice to people now, now that, you know, my kids are grown and, um, and I'm on a different I'm on it. I'm at a different stage in my life. Mm -hmm. I wish I would have relaxed and laughed more and just saw the humor in all of it because in the end, it really doesn't matter. It's that you, the, the main goal for all of us, right? As parents is to have healthy, happy, confident kids. Yeah. And if you can just keep that clear in your mind, everything else just kind of falls into place. Yeah. It just works. Yeah. Right. Definitely, definitely. And having friends that, you know, you can rely on where you don't have to have your house perfectly clean and have your makeup done at all times and your hair done at all times and know that when they walk in, there's going to be chaos probably. And, you know, they're still going to love you no matter what. And those are the friendships that, you know, are really important in a, in a family unit and to keep you connected and, and, um, and laughing. Absolutely agree. But let's just, let's just give you a prop right now. She's got <laughs> two hours sleep. Did you guys not hear? <laughs> and look at her. Her makeup's perfect. Her hair is perfect. Her house looks clean from this little box. Oh, yeah. yeah. So awesome job. Thank you. Well, I'm in my warehouse. So um, <laughs> you're actually probably getting a uh, window into the, uh, into the large warehouse space outside. So, <laughs> okay. Well, at least you can keep that looking nice. So okay, the kids aren't here. What was that? Because it's not there. Because the kids aren't here. Yeah. I am, yeah. That's why it can look nice. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Who knows what your house looks like, but at least you have your little zone. So that's, that's always helpful. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's talk about what I really, really want to know about yeah. skin care. Yay. Tell us how to keep looking beautiful and take the best care of our skin so that we can grow old gracefully. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. So um, there's a couple different um, tips that I really um, want to, uh, uh, you know, pronounce and really want to get through to women. And um, the first one is that there are a couple different types of aging. You have intrinsic aging and extrinsic aging. So intrinsic aging would be that thought of, um, you know, what is my DNA going to do? And, oh, my gosh, my mother has this neck thing, so I'm going to have this neck thing. Or, you know, my grandmother has these eyes that tag, so I'm going to have that. So that's intrinsic aging that's based off of your DNA and your genetic code. And then there's extrinsic aging, which is based off of your environment. So it's based off of what you personally put into your body, how you treat your body, how you treat your skin, um, you know, sleeping at night, which obviously it's, it's tough to do sometimes, but drinking water and, um, you know, taking care of your body. And what's, you know, has been proven in different studies is that intrinsic aging is only about 20% of the aging process. So that means 80, 70 to 80 percent is extrinsic factors. So these are the factors that we are faced with choices to make every day. Do I smoke? Do I drink? Am I drinking enough water today? Do I wear sunscreen? Am I working out? Am I, do I have a good skincare regimen? So those um, extrinsic factors are huge when you're thinking of aging. And, um, you know, that's really important because a lot of people think like, oh, well, my mom looks like that, so I'm just going to, you know, have to live with that. And that's not true at all. It really is what you're doing personally. Whoa, that is so good to know. That is so yeah, good to know. I was unaware of that. So good info to put in my pocket. I will make sure yeah. that I'm lots of water and everything else. Mm -hmm. And then is there anything else that we should know? So, well, you know, so that, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, you go ahead. Cause I was going to ask you, so, you know, we're doing it, we're drinking water, we're exercising, we're trying to eat healthy. What else? Is there other, other little secret tidbits at house? Yeah that we yeah. can do to, to help ourselves. So you hit the nail right on the head when you said drinking water. It is so important. It's not a myth, it's not a lie. Um, you know, I'm in trainings all the time in front of groups of people and my spas, my estheticians. And I always tell this analogy and they laugh at me at first, um, but it's, it's an analogy when you go to the grocery store and you see this beautiful peach. And this peach is supple, it's juicy. You know that the second you bite into it, juice is just gonna drip all down your mouth and it's gonna be the best tasting thing you've ever put in your mouth, right? Mm -hmm. Well, a week goes by and this peach ends up sitting on your counter. 
and you come back to it and all of a sudden this peach has gone from this beautiful supple skin to this wrinkly dehydrated skin and that is nothing but water loss it's what happens to grapes that make raisins and it's the same thing that has happened to this peach it's water loss and what we are how we are moisturizing our, our skin and how we are moisturizing our body is so important because a lot of women don't know that um, dehydration is the first sign of aging so those little fine lines that we get on our forehead the little fine lines around our eyes a lot of that can be um, abolished by just drinking water and having a great skincare regimen where you are moisturizing you know keeping water in your body will regulate your hydrolytic flow which will keep your cells plump which will keep your cells looking um, plump and full of water so that when you are um, putting your makeup on your skin and your makeup will lay better your makeup will look better because your skin um, is plump and it doesn't have those dehydration wrinkles oh gosh okay so right now I'm so feeling like I need to go get a giant glass of water right <laughs> yeah because we were out this week and it's just really really dry up there and I came home I was like oh my gosh what happened to my skin but I think with the air and everything else that my skin did get dehydrated and um luckily i have great lights in here so i probably look a little better than i do in person but um yeah oh. it is so about the dehydration yeah it really is and um you know the last thing i would say as far as a tip um you know would be to um, have personal time and be able to spend time, you know, getting away from the kids if that's at night or getting away from the partner or the husband and just taking some time for yourself, doing a little mini spa treatment um, with spa splurge or with any product, but really being able to just take that time for yourself to recharge, refresh your mind, meditate on your thoughts for the day or or for what's going on in your life at that moment and you know get a glass of wine if you're calm and you're relaxed then you're not going to get those wrinkles that need Botox if you're not making those faces and you're stressed out and you're frowning or you're squinting and you know being angry with people all day you know you're not going to need the Botox because you're not making the lines that form them Ooh, really good point <laughs> really good point Easier said than done, as I'm sure. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> but if you if you really try, I think um, as long as you're cognizant of it, it it can happen. It can. Yep. happen. So I yeah. love that. Okay, so I want to talk about a product that I saw, um, okay. and it's the the these masks that you have again. Uh -huh. The mask. The eye mask. Um, yeah. yeah, but not for the eyes. But you had ones for the breasts too. And I'm yes. my girlfriend um, has breast breast cancer. Yes. And oh, there it is. Yay. Can you see it? Yes. <laughs> Tell me about those. What was the inspiration? What made you think of that? How does it work? And how can it help people? Okay, great. Um, uh, well, the breast mask was actually um, designed uh, while my youngest child, um, Hayes, who's now 13 months, was born premature. He was born about nine weeks premature, and we spent um, two months in Alterman's Hospital. Uh, when he was born, his lungs were not fully developed, and so he actually um, almost passed away. He was brought back to life and intubated. So it was a really you know tough time as a new mom. You're expecting to bring this beautiful baby home and start your life together, and unfortunately, that just didn't happen with um, with my son. And so while I was in the NICU, um, he was on medications uh, for a long time and then being tube fed. And when he started to be tube fed, I wanted him to have all of my breast milk, all of my colostrum to get those great antibodies to help him grow and, and get stronger. And I had never pumped before. With my first son, he latched on and then having a home business, he was able to come to work with me. So I rarely pumped at that point. Um, so pumping... Uh, is dry air and it's not a uh, hydrating as we were just talking about um, experience for your skin and so with that dry air my nipples were so cracked and they were so dry and so tender um, but it was getting extremely painful and I was almost ready to give up and about I'll pick a time two three four in the morning uh, as I was sitting at all children's hospital I had already designed those eye masks that you showed earlier and um, I in desperation started putting the eye mask on my breasts oh, <laughs> because I knew gosh. the serum because <laughs> I knew the serum was so hydrating and filled with um, collagen and hyaluronic acid and it would really help my skin 
So as I lay back with like this, you know, entrepreneurial mind racing and kind of a smirk on my face of like, holy moly, this is a great <laughs> idea. I, I'm solving a problem. Yeah, that's awesome. I, um, I, I developed the breast mask. And of course, I, you know, as, as your mind's racing and as an entrepreneur and you're thinking of all the different opportunities and uses and, and ways that this can help people, I reached out to some um, uh, top professionals in the industry to get some active ingredients that they are using in burn care, um, in wound healing, and in um, anti-cancer treatments. And so I was able to work with them to put um, those ingredients into the same uh, marine-based collagen and my, my basis of my hyaluronic acid serum um, into the breast mass. So the breast masks are great for breastfeeding moms. They're great for women going through radiation therapy because they're going to help calm and soothe the burn site uh, with, with aloe and vitamin E and really be uh, cooling and soothing. They're also great for pre and post mastectomy or breast augmentation. And for women that are pregnant and haven't even delivered yet, they help with stretch marks. So they're kind of an all inclusive women, you know, a woman must have in their bag of tricks. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so for the stretch marks, we need ones that go around our belly yeah. too. So you have a lot of work to do. There's some more products that okay. need to come out. I'll get back to the drawing board. Okay, good. I love, love, Love that because I did have that same experience where it hurts. It hurts yeah. when you're nursing, especially when you're first nursing and you want to die. Yeah. So I wish that you had those products beforehand, but now that'll be my new gift to all new. Yes. Women. Well, thank you. I, I hope so. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Okay. So tell me, is there anything else that we should know about your business? I know that you guys are big in giving back to the community. And I think that is such an important element of, of any business or any life is to contribute back to, to those around you. Yeah. Um, and thank you for bringing that up. Um, yes, we are, you know, um, really conscious about our social, um, footprint and what we are doing socially. Um, you know, every, uh, excuse me, spa splurge, our, our mission or our motto is splurge on yourself and invest in change for others. And so a portion of everything we sell does go back to charity. It goes back to charity in the form of Soap with Soul, which Soul stands for Serving Others United in Love. And it's a charity division of our company where we are able to offer um, hygiene sets to um, orphanages and children in need all over the world. Um, when my husband and I were traveling on different mission trips, we found um, that it's not only shelter and food and water that are so important to these um, tribes or villages to survive, it's also hygiene. Uh, 2.8 million children under the age of five die every year from communicable diseases. And so that's flu, pneumonia, diarrhea, and a lot of that can be stopped or slowed down by washing your hands. And they don't have soap. They don't even have water to drink. So um, as an amenity company, we donate um, thousands and thousands of sets of shampoo, bar soap um, products and amenity products to children all over the world and right here in the U.S. Um, so that's a huge portion of our business and our core value. Um, with Spa Splurge, we donate to breast cancer awareness um, in the form of giving um, uh, women going through radiation therapy the breast mask. We donate again going back to um, Soap with Soul for um, uh, hygiene-related illnesses. So we do a lot of that, and that's really important to our company, and it's on the back of every box. And you can go on our website and see all the different charities and partnerships that we formed um, with our donations. I love that, and it's interesting because – you just got to get creative and really think how you can help others. And there are so many people and so many organizations in need. And I love how creative you got with what you already had to, to help in such yeah. a profound way. So that's awesome. Good for you guys. Thank you. Yeah. It's not just about yourself or your business. There's a whole world out there of people that need, that need assistance and need help. And what I have found, I, you know, I've been doing this for a while is that people in business who are really successful they, that's part of their business is yeah. giving back because it's a passion. So the business becomes more than just about you and definitely more than just about the bottom line. It's about giving, it's about helping others and that you are responsible for something much, much bigger than yourself, yeah. or your own organization. And that helps drive the passion. That's what I've seen with so many other business owners and myself, and I'm assuming with you, it sounds like, 
Um, but it's, it's such an amazing, amazing thing to have in our back pocket that we're able to do. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. Well, thank you. It really is. We're really proud and honored to be able to um, to make the donations and to form the partnerships that we that we have. Um, you know, uh, we're very fa uh, faith based here, and you know, it's really important uh, to us to you know live well and live wisely and live humbly. And um, and I think if you're doing those things in your life and as as your moral practice, then um, you know everything will kind of fall into place. Yep, I totally agree. Mm -hmm. Totally agree. So where can people find your information about your products and your website? So give us that information. Wonderful. So our collection is called Spa Splurge, and you can find us at spasplurgecollection.com. And you can purchase the products right there on the website, as well as, of course, you can see the different charities and organizations that we've partnered with, um, learn about the products. And then um, also we have a special um, for your listeners today, Midori. If they go on our shopping cart uh, anytime from as soon as this airs to uh, the last day of March, which I think is the 31st, they can type into their shopping cart Midori Live, all capital uh, letters, and they will receive an extra special free gift with their order. Oh, that's awesome. That's <laughs> awesome. All right. I totally encourage everyone to take advantage of that. Again, some of these are such great gifts for mm -hmm. moms to be for friends going through breast cancer radiation and treatment. Um, and she mentioned some other things, but also just to pamper ourselves and to remember that guys and girls and ladies, if this may be for men and women, pamper yourselves. And what a great date night. I just thought of this. What a great date night to have your own at home spa treatment, right? Together? You should, yes, that'd be great. You could use the hand paraffin mask and put them on each other and sit and relax, have wine and bond. Okay, so now that is my inspiration. We're, I do a happy hour Friday every week and we host it on Periscope. I'm going to do this. My husband and I are going to get together. Yay! Wine, and we're going to have our paraffin everything and we're going to have our spa day and we're going to share it with our audience. So you guys ready? So just be, be on the lookout for that. That's going to be so much fun. But anyway, I want to thank you so much, Aaliyah, for all your tips and your business advice and your balancing kids and, and business and your skin treatment ideas because this has been a wealth of information and I look forward to having you again on our show to share some new stuff. Thank you. I would love that. It would be a pleasure and an honor to uh, come back and, and speak with you again. And, you know, I, I look forward to that. Okay, great. <laughs> so again, go if you did not have a chance to write down her website, you can always find it at midoriverity.com. And we will have all of Aliyah's information right there for you to click on. Thanks again.